So some years ago, I made a video that talked about women just don't have the luxury to be choosy. And, it, and I really made that as the title today. I put, just put modern women because that's the word y'all using today. But I want you to hear what one of our sisters has to say, speaking to the modern woman. And I want to follow behind her what I said years ago, literally came to pass, and I'm going to reiterate that today. Let's roll that clip. Y'all know some of y'all women be like, I don't like no nice guy. I don't like no nice guy. They too weak. Woo, 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 woo. Y'all say that shit now. Y'all say that fucking shit now. But baby, after you done got your ass whooped and gone through all type of shit with these bogus ass motherfucking men, baby, you gonna wish you had a motherfucking nice guy. You chasing after these bad boys and all that toxic shit? No, about time you get to my age, baby, you gonna wish... You had a nice guy because, baby, I'm trying to tell you, don't turn no man down because he's a nice guy. That's what you need. It ain't always what the fuck you want. It's what you need. My mama used to say, get a man that's going to love you way more than you love him. And those are facts. And that is on Betty Boo. Okay, but we hoop de doo when I originally made the video, oh boy, there was some hurt feelings that day. I never forget that. Oh, they were, how dare you say we don't have a luxury to be choosy. We can choose whoever we want. We could do this and we can do that. Well, fast forward from about 2013 or 2014 to 2021. And what I said then is actually facts now. You just had a sister in 2021 just basically reiterated my points back then, and I'm gonna reiterate those points now. You don't have the luxury to be choosy. What I meant by that at the time, it was what I mean now, is that when you have a decent dude come your way, some of you feel, oh, I can get a, another man. I don't want him. He don't dress this way. He don't act this way. He ain't acting like Pookie and Ray Ray. He's a square. He's an educated lame. And then you heard what your sister said is that when you get her age, you're looking for the educated lame. You're looking for the square. You're looking for the, the, the socially awkward dude that you say was socially awkward. It doesn't mean he was socially awkward, but you called him that at the time period you pass by the brother that's middle class. And then a lot of these silly little women that even make videos today will call a brother that's middle class dusty. I mean, listen at the craziness of that. And then you look into the, the lives just a little bit into the, 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 the women that's running around online talking about they hate brothers and calling brothers dusty and saying you dusty if you make 40,000, you dusty if you make 50,000, you dusty if you make 60,000. That's middle class in America. What's wrong with making that kind of money? Not everybody's going to be a six figure guy, seven figure, eight figure guy. That's not going to happen for everybody. And it's not even how much you make it's how well you manage because you can be making a hundred million a year and still be broke. There's a lot of so-called rich people that have jumped out of buildings behind that because they didn't manage their money. Right. But the reason why I say you don't have a luxury to be choosy because the odds are against you It's more women in, in the U S and throughout the world, right? More women. More women is competing, well, especially when they get to that age where this sister was competing for the decent guys, right? So if, if, if a guy is like, you know, Russell Wilson, but we just take away the NFL contract, let's take that away. If you're a Russell Wilson type dude, or you're just a dude that go to work, you're not out there drinking Hennessy and smoking weed all weekend. You know, you, you're just a decent guy. You, 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 treat, you treat women white, right? You got some character about yourself. You would actually make a good father one day, a good husband. And when you was in your twenties, you passed this dude up and you wanted to go to Pookie and Ray Ray and, it, and, and Pookie and Ray Ray light. Cause you know, they got these dudes that pretend to be Pookie and Ray Ray, but they're not. So I call them Pookie and Ray Ray light because they do that to attract some of the sisters in the community. Because you know, the good decent dudes, you know, they're, they're boring. Like it's a man's job to entertain you like a circus clown. I mean, entertain yourself, but you, you find hobbies and different things that you like together. You could, that's the one 
point that you can actually do something together on. Right. But you don't have a lot of options and it's nothing about looks or nothing. You don't have a lot of options because especially today, more so than back when originally, when I said it, you have a different generation of guys. A lot of them, it, it's really screwed up. They was raised with their single mothers. They act like a lot of y'all. They have a lot of feminine ways. A lot of them, they don't really exu- they, it exhibit masculinity. A lot of them, but you actually, you had a chance to get a dude that actually was decent. A dude that had some masculinity about him. He was smart enough to know I'm not going to do nothing, go commit no crimes and get a criminal record. And I can't get this particular license or I can't get access to this particular company because of my, my record. Understand a smart man knows to stay out of trouble. That's what a smart man would do. An idiot will go run to trouble. Now defending yourself, that's a totally different situation, but you just committing crimes to be doing it. You're an idiot. But a, a, a good brother would know I'm not trying to be out here committing no crimes because, of, okay, I graduated college. If, if, if I got some felony on my record, then I can't even get a job or I can't even start the business that I wanted to start because I need access to this particular uh, permit or license and they don't give it to felons. No, so you want to be a, a smart guy with that. Why do you want to wait until, you know, you had experience of Pookie and Ray Ray you didn't have some domestic violence situations happen to you. You've been left with babies, this fool in jail. You know what I'm saying? He probably brought home some, some VD to you. And then you thinking about that brother that, that just loved your uh, dirty bra. That he's the one to be with you. He, he wanted to take you out. And you, after all of that, you start getting online and you start getting on Facebook or Instagram or, or something like that. And you put in that brother's name and you're trying to see if that brother is single. And then what, what, what some of you would do is let's say the brother is single at the time. You will start messaging him trying to, Hey, how you doing? You remember back in the day, X, Y, trying to spark up a conversation and hopefully you could circle back around to that guy. Now that guy didn't, didn't doing better. Now he, he got a different situation, you know, and, and he got his head on straight. He's, he's ready for a family now. But then here you come well, with, with your kids from Pookie and Ray Ray in tow and, and, and your, you know, uh, psychological damage that happened to you due to you choosing Pookie and Ray Ray. Or somebody that's emotionally or, or, or physically abusive. You understand? Because just because a dude got a job doesn't mean he can't be abusive. So you had to say something to the police and now this guy also have charges. So now you, you're trying to spark something with a guy that you had access to maybe 10 years ago. Don't be that woman. If you are in a position where you don't have the emotional baggage or the, the kids in tow and you're young and, and you, you got everything going for you. And when that nice brother come up to you a nice man, cause people from all over you know the world and different communities watch. So you are the nice man that come up to you. Take your shot then. See what's going to happen then. Because you knew he was a nice dude. You saw he actually had something going for himself, but you chose Pookie and Ray Ray. This is what you chose. Then later, also, if you can't get that guy, and you may see if it happens, he's with a woman from a different community. Now you're getting on social media. And, 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 and not, now you're saying all these black men, all they want to do is date women outside the community, which statistically speaking, the majority of black men marry black women. The majority of any community marry within their own community. That's statistically speaking, period. That's facts. Or you're on here with this, I hate the black man campaign. But, but a lot, let me tell you, brother, something. A lot of them that's on this, I hate the black man, I, I zaddy this and zaddy that. Look into their life a little bit. You're going to see the choices that they chose to make with certain dudes. Things didn't work out for them the way they wanted. And then now they're angry at all black men. Like, like all of us did you something, which we did not. Because you can't be bitter online without being bitter in your life. I'm going to tell you what you exhibit across, you know, 
your platform at times is you're projecting things that who you are. Now some people say, Oh, do, so you're projecting yourself. Yes. I'm very, I'm very harsh on, on what I think. And let me tell you something. I talk this way to my own daughters. I got two grown daughters and know you think I don't talk to them this way. I don't cut back on them because I want to tell them so they don't make the mistakes. And so the, I want them out here with, with later on in life, as I said before, by themselves can't get nothing. I try now, if they don't want to listen to me, they, that's fine. But usually what I've seen about things in life, I try to give people good advice and usually they come back later and tell me, you know what? You was right. That's happened to a lot of people. I just don't want you to find out the hard way. I rather you take the advice and run with it early, but don't pass by no man. That's a decent man that they really want to be with you. He's serious about it. He wants to commit. He wants to possibly form a family. You have no children. He has no children. You know, take the chance. Don't, don't listen to your little silly girlfriends that'll talk you out of a decent dude and tell you about this Pookie and Ray Ray somewhere. Cause that's what she's doing at the time period. You don't have the luxury to be choosy. You just don't. It's way too many of you out there and the decent guys are minimum. So when, when something is at a rare commodity, that means it is a uh, uh, precious. The, the price is very high at that point. So, I mean, you could be arrogant in, in, in the comments and try to go off on me. You could talk about me. You could say whatever at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm right. What I'm saying, you don't have the luxury to be choosy. You just don't. If you want a decent guy, now you want Pookie and Ray Ray, you want problems. Hey, it's plenty. It's more of that out there for you beyond which I mean, that's an abundance. You can find that like this, but you know, good and well, you don't want that. You don't, you don't want a situation where you're looking at him to be a man and he can't cause he's looking at you. Like, what are you going to do? That gets tiresome. And those of you who experience that know that, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Good, bad, or, or in between, you know, and, and fellas, you know, do you agree? Or ladies, do you agree? What we're we talking about here. And if it's your first time coming by, don't just ghost watch, hit that subscribe button. You know, if you like it, hit the like button and everything. And, um, you know, we want you to join the conversation here. We're going to have these difficult conversations. We're going to have that because in, in, in life, Something's not going to be all fun to hear, but you know what? It, it, it is what it is, but let me know.